In May of 2010, I had the absolute pleasure and opportunity to film one of the last remaining sites of Saracenia alabamensis in the United States. I was very excited about this trip because this was my first time seeing these plants in situ. And when I arrived, there was quite a few breathtaking scenes of stands of Saracenia reaching to the sky. The plants in these shots here, however, do grow in a site where there is a lot of competitive overgrowth, but it is on the schedule to be burned next spring. Nature Conservancy is in charge of prescribed fires in this region, and they prescribe the fires as necessary to destroy such undergrowth. But as one can see, these plants here are looking very good, despite their low limited numbers. This area was a little bit drier than a few of the other areas on site that I had visited. The soil was dry, crumblier to the touch. However, as you can see in the video, there's lots of copious amounts of seed in the seed capsules. Hopefully this will ensure that this population will be able to regenerate itself twofold and threefold in the seasons to come. Now this site resides high above a rocky, gravelly peak. This area was burned in spring of 2010 by the Nature Conservancy, whose efforts were made possible the donations of International Carnivorous Plant Society members. I immediately noticed that the soil in this area was of a very high red clay consistency and was very sandy, grainy, and had lots of gravel present as well. It's surprising how well the pitcher plants actually grew here considering this harsh clay-like environment. I was pleasantly surprised at the insect activity as well that was going on amongst the pitcher plants. A few of the insects were kind enough to pose for me for a few shots while I was visiting. I was pleasantly surprised at the agility and the military precision of the large flies that were visiting the lips, rims, and lids of the pitchers to sip their delicious nectar. Though I witnessed this all during the day while I was filming, not once were any of these large flies ever caught by any of the pitcher plants. They most definitely had this down to an exact science.
I can truly say of the three areas that I had visited while at this site filming, this was the most impressive stands of Saracenia alabamensis I had seen. The plants were growing on the sides of a small natural stream that ran in between the colonies of plants. Plus, I also noticed that the soil here had more of a white sand-like consistency and less of the red clay as I had seen at the previous sites. But what impressed me the most about this area was the large amounts of healthy ripening seed pods on all of the plants. Due to the consistent flow of good pure water to these plants, they by far had the healthiest seed populations that I had seen so far this day. What is also very exciting is the fact that Ron Dieterman at the Atlanta Botanical Gardens has been massively propagating genetic material from this site and reintroduction plans are in place for spring of 2011 after this area is subsequently burned with prescribed fire. Carnivorous Plant Society takes strong stands on conservation and land stewardship values. We are dedicated to understanding, preserving, growing, selecting, propagating, studying, and appreciating the natural flora of the earth with a special interest in carnivorous plants. But above all, we support efforts to protect wild habitats as sources for genetic variations and naturally thriving plants to preserve them for generations to come. We also strongly believe that habitat destruction, both planned and accidental, is responsible for the greatest loss of habitats and species in the world today, and we deplore this situation. In cooperation with other carnivorous plant societies worldwide, and in cooperation with reputable organizations such as the Nature Conservancy, the ICPS fully supports conservational measures such as prescribed fire when necessary, but this cannot be done without the help, support, and donations of its cherished members. Please donate to the Carnivorous Plant Conservational Project of your choice at www.carnivorousplants.org. Together we can make a difference for our future.